Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little video which is quite a big one. So a little video that's quite a big one and I'm going to be going through all of the new Body Shop products that I have recently received. If you didn't know I'm a consultant at the Body Shop at home. It's a really really good Thing to do if you need extra cash things like that so that's basically why I did it and also I love skincare and things like that and now I love the body shop skincare so I'm really enjoying doing that but if you want to go and check out my Facebook page where I sell body shop products and things like that loads of discounts I also do loads of giveaways I literally do like one a week or one every two weeks then click the link in the description for my Facebook page and please join my group because I do do a lot of giveaways and also you can see what products they have and reviews and things like that so please check that out i am going to be going through all of the recently bought products i did do a video before which did actually do quite well on my channel it got a few thousand views and i shared with you all of the new things i had from the body shop kind of the things that i started off getting and everything like that so i'll link that down below if you want to go and watch that one first and then these are my new products that i've got so I do have quite a lot to go through, so I'm just going to get diving in. Most of this stuff is for free, by the way. Um, you do get a lot of free stuff doing this, which is really nice. So yeah, so first of all, I have got the Shea Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I did actually buy these, these weren't for free. This is the Richly Replenishing Shampoo, so this is for dry um, and prone to damage hair. So it's the kind of range that they do that's targeted at people that want to kind of soothe their hair, nourish it a little bit and just make it a little bit softer. So I decided to go for these and they are really, really nice, especially the conditioner. I would say the conditioner is, you know, really good. Um, but I am definitely gonna rebuy this because it's getting down low. I love this, it's so soft. When you've got long hair like me, you need to have products that will soften the hair. Now I'm gonna go in with new face masks because I do have quite a lot. These are face masks that I've got over the duration of the last kind of couple of months. So you, um, if you follow me on Facebook, you will already have seen most of these. Apart from this one, so this is my newly purchased face mask. I did get it for free. This is the Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. So that is what it looks like. So this is what the mask looks like. It is a really nice bottle and then I will open it up and show you what the insides of it looks like. So this is it. It's a really nice kind of green texture. Uh, sorry, green texture. A really nice kind of foamy texture with a gr nice kind of minty green colour. And this just looks so good on your skin. It looks like a traditional good face mask. You put it on your skin and then it actually sinks in. It's one of those face masks which is really nice and cooling on the skin. And then when you take it off, your skin feels really refreshed. So that I would say that's maybe my favourite or my second favourite face mask that the Body Shop do. But this is definitely, you know, up there. I then also have the tea tree over night mask so this is the anti imperfection night mask I've had this for a while this is the kind of product that I use if I either can't be bothered to do my skincare or if I've spotted any kind of spots or blemishes on my skin that you know aren't usually there so I will use this so this is what it looks like and then if I open it up on the inside let me try and open this without breaking a nail there we go. Um, it's like a kind of slimy texture. I'll try and show you. Yeah, it's like a slimy texture inside, but you pop it onto your skin. So I'll cleanse my face. I'll then pop this on and my skin looks so much better in the morning. It's such a nice product to use and I would really recommend this if you do kind of suffer with breakouts and things like that. Um, so I do love this product and it's definitely worth kind of buying if that's the kind of thing that you are interested in and then i also have recently got on national coffee day i did a discount on my facebook page which meant that quite a few people bought these um so this is the nick your and coffee intense awakening mask um it, the packaging looks like this i do love how the body shop do on um, all of their packaging so it just looks very nice and sophisticated and then if we open it up and we see kind of how it looks on the inside it's like a nice kind of thick rich coffee texture so when you put it on your skin it does feel quite kind of nice and warm so this is meant to kind of revitalize the skin soothe the skin um, at the same time and just soften it i actually use it as a little bit of a scrub as well so you actually can scrub it into your skin which actually does soften the skin as well at the same time and it just means that when you leave it on when you bring it off your skin is so soft so this is a nice one as well and now I'm going to go with some more products. So here we have the Fuji Green Tea 
eau de toilette i am obsessed with this smell i re originally um heard of the smell when heard of the smell i originally smelt the scent when i bought the shampoo and conditioner which was scented fuji green tea and i was addicted to the smell i loved it in my hair that is a really also good hair care range at the body shop um so i thought why not try it in this scent considering it's literally my the best smell i've ever smelled in my life um Mm, like literally I just love that smell oh my god right so I'm just putting some more on um so yeah I'm so 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 happy with this this is what the bottle looks like so it does look very kind of sophisticated for god's sake focus it does look very kind of sophisticated it looks like it would fit in in your bathroom and yeah it's a nice little bottle to get and it's not too expensive either so it won't break the bank and then I also got the Fuji green tea shower gel which is the same scent but I wanted to get it in the shower gel because I'm nearly running out of the one that I've already got and I also am addicted to this scent so I decided to get that and I'm probably going to end up running out of this even before Christmas because I love the smell so much and then also just to show you the one that I haven't run out of yet this is the rich plum shower gel so they this is part of their Christmas range this is the festive rich plum range I do have a few more products that they sent me for free which is in a box down there but I won't show you that because most of them are kind of used up because I use them for samples and um, send to people but yeah they sent me the whole range of those so I've been using that and it, as you can see it's nearly run out and also I'm gonna film an empties video on here as well because I've got so many empty products as well because that's what I usually do then this is the roots of strength firming shaping lotion this is meant for people with older skin as you can see it's like a ready kind of color so it does look quite nice like if you had this in your bathroom it would look nice I have the drops of youth one and that's really nice and hydrating like i love that one on my skin that's probably one of my favorite products so i wanted to try this one it is really expensive so that's why i decided to get it when it was free because it's obviously really expensive so i made the most of it whilst i could and it is meant for older skin people do say it is like botox which i think is a slight exaggeration but what they mean by that is it kind of makes your skin feel quite firm and it also <laughs> reduces wrinkles <laughs> We've got a coughing person in the background. <laughs> and then talking about Jamie, two of his products are here that I bought him um, because he asked for like a new shower gel and also a new facial wash. So this is the seaweed one. This is the seaweed pore cleansing exfoliator. This is the most harshest um, scrub that you can get at the body shop and I really like the colour of that like that's a nice blue I would say this is probably my favourite colour like this bluey colour um, but yeah it's a really really harsh one so it kind of gets into your pores a lot more than some other ones that they have because obviously you know not everybody wants it to be quite harsh and this is for combination to oily skin and do you like it Jamie? Oh it's amazing, it's really amazing. <laughs> he said it's amazing um, and then he also got the activist shower gel they do have a men's rain as rain they do have a men's range as well at the body shop it is a lot smaller but the products are really good um, my dad really likes this as well because he also has this i did also buy a headband now this is actually technically part of the stuff that only i can buy um because i can buy lots of stuff a lot cheaper and i'm not allowed to sell it on but you can also buy this yourself um, as well. And this is like a little headband. This can go on your head when you're doing your makeup or when you're doing your skincare and it just gets your hair out of the way because obviously I've got really long hair so I do need this. So I bought that. So it's just quite a cheap product. Like it's definitely something that's, you know, worth the money if you like things like this. So that's just something I thought I would add in there. And then recently I did also buy this because I wanted to try it and also I've ran out of my chamomile makeup remover. So this is the chamomile silky cleansing oil. This is suitable for sensitive skin. They do have quite a big range for sensitive skin, um, even though I don't have it. But this is like an oily texture. So it's like rubbing olive oil on your face and then it gets rid of any of your makeup or anything like that that you've got on and then you wash it off. Um, you do need to use quite a little quite a bit of this i would say you don't you know need no you shouldn't use a tiny bit you need to use a little bit more than you would think but it is a really nice product and then speaking of that range i also picked up another one this is like a backup of 
one that I've just used up. This is the Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. I've spoken about this one a lot. It's one of the most famous products that the body shop have ever done. It's very, very popular. I'll try and show you what it looks like. A lot of people buy these off me. They are very popular. So, you know, let me know if you're interested in trying it. Um, but yeah, this is obviously a brand new one, but basically you take a little bit onto your finger, you rub it around your face and your eye makeup and everything just gets instantly removed in like a non-painful way. Because sometimes removing your makeup with like makeup wipes and things like that can be quite painful. So this is a great product to go for and it's actually not that expensive. Um, oh. Then we have this. This is the Vitamin C Glow Revealing Liquid Peel. These are actually really, really cool products. Basically, you I will actually show you because, you know, I can. Um, you put a little bit onto the back of your hand or onto your face or wherever, and you're targeting areas that are like dry skin or anything like that, and then you rub it in and it should kind of start to peel off bits of your skin so you're literally just rubbing it in obviously this is the back of my hand so not too much will come off as i can feel not much is coming off oh but there is still some like you literally just pit, like rub it in like that and i do that on my face i use this completely on my face and look as you can see like it peels like bits of skin off and stuff like that um it's peeling itself off whilst also peeling off bits of your skin and that's like dead skin and things like that so it's not actually peeling your skin off um because that would be bad that'd be like bleach or something um so yeah that's a really nice product and they have this product in different scents and different skincare ranges but this is the most kind of common one because this is for dull tired and grumpy skin apparently oh and then talking about the vitamin c range i also have the daily glow cleansing polish i'm nearly run out of my tea tree one which i'll show you in just a second um but I decided to get this one. So it's like another facial scrub. It's like the one that I got Jamie, but this one is not as harsh. So he probably would prefer the one that I've got him. Um, but I'm gonna use this one because I feel like it might make my skin a little bit glowier, which is good for when you put makeup on. So that might be a good one, but I do do reviews on my Facebook page. So I will let you know if you go and follow me on that. Um, and then like I was saying, this is the Tea Tree Squeaky Clean Scrub. This is suitable for blemished skin. Um, a lot of people swear by the tea tree range at the body shop when they've got breakouts and spots and things like that. I wouldn't recommend using it for acne. I used to use, I used to use, I used to have acne like years and years ago. Using products on your face can actually make it worse. So I would never say to anybody to use these products if you've got acne because, you know, I would be lying. I don't personally think that they work. I think you need to go to the doctor because acne is not spots, it's a skin condition. So that needs to be sorted out but this is good for spots um and that is a really nice scrub as well and it's not too harsh and then we've got the sorry i'm out of breath from talking so much um then i've got the amazonian savior balm which is probably the most famous product that they do it's the one that most people talk about um and this is like a multi-purpose balm i'll try and show you what it looks like on the inside yeah like it's just like a balm consistency a lot of people use this for scars you can also use it on stretch marks and it kind of reduces the appearance of them apparently and then it's also used for tattoos i've got literally the tiniest little tattoo i did do a video on my channel showing it but it's just a hippo i am planning on getting a couple more at some point in my life but yeah i don't really need this but my boyfriend has a whole sleeve so this is good for him and it kind of darkens the, t the appearance of your tattoos and so makes them look a little bit darker in the daytime you know it's not something that lasts it's just up until your next shower it will make them look darker so that's a good product and loads of people like that and then i also have this which is nearly ran out already this is the body shop seaweed oil control gel cream this is for combination to oily skin i do have oily skin i actually like my oily skin because it means that my skin does not get as wrinkly as other people's would um but yeah this is what it looks like on the inside just a plain moisturizer i actually when i bought this was shocked because i thought that it wouldn't be as moisturizing as some of the other moisturizers they have because it's aimed at oily skin which means that they won't want to kind of um give the hydration in your skin like others will but this is actually really nice and moisturizing you can definitely tell that it is for oily skin but it is really nice so i am going to buy that one again we're nearly done we've got one skincare product left and then a couple of makeup things so we'll be done very soon 
But then this is the Vitamin E Gentle Facial Wash. Most of the stuff that I've actually bought um, from the body shop is kind of stuff for when I run out of things. So I just want to give this a try. At the minute I've got the Vitamin E Cleanser, but this is the facial wash. So I want to see what the difference is and which one I prefer. That's why I got this. And then makeup. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. Like, oh my God, and most of that was free. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to have some fun getting rid of all that. We're using it all up, not getting rid of it. Um, so I'm going to go in some kind of order. First of all, we have the Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. This has tea tree in it. So a lot of people use this when they've got breakouts and things like that because it's good for spots like throughout the day. And this is in the shade number 14. It says Rayleigh Beach. I do not know what that actually means. Um, or if I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, this is a little bit too light for me, but it's still okay because I can put bronzer on and stuff like that. It's definitely meant for oily skin. If you wear this with dry skin, you, it will look awful. This is not aimed at people with dry skin, so do not use it because you will not like it. Um, but it is for oily skinned people. The coverage is nice. It's medium, but you can build it up to a full coverage if you want. And then I did also get a concealer, which I will definitely rebuy this because I do really like this. And this is the, hang on, I'm trying to read what it says whilst focusing on the camera. Yeah, there we go. This is the Matte Clay Full Coverage Concealer and mine's in the shade number 10. Obviously, this is quite a light shade. So all I use this for is underneath my eyes. I literally get a bit of this, pop it underneath my eyes and it brightens. If you have kind of dark under eyes, I don't. But if you do, this product will be really good because it will just make you look a lot more awake. And then... Oh yes, this is my favourite makeup product that I got. Um, this is to do my eyebrows, so I ran out of eyebrow products, so I thought, oh, maybe I'll try one from the body shop, and I'm really happy that I did. So I'm going to try and open this without breaking my nail. Right, this is what it looks like. Now, you might look at that and think, oh, that looks really dark. Um, like, this is looking almost kind of grey-black. But if you look at my eyebrows, they do actually match the colour of my hair, so this does actually match like up to what you would think no hang on it doesn't match up to what you think but it actually works you'd think wow that's way too dark but do go for it if you have brown hair like me then do go for it by the way my skin looks quite shiny um yeah that's because i have oily skin just thought i'd say that because it is looking a little bit oily right now and there's like a white light shining on my face it does come with this brush now i am going to be honest here i don't really like this brush and the reason why i don't like it is because they've done it in like a curved shape and it looks really like weird and it's also hard to apply like i would rather them have made this bit straight because i don't use this bit here i use this one and i do love the brush but it's just awkward to apply product so for me the brush is good but it's just awkward the way it's shaped but it is a good product right four things left I have the Lash Hero Fibre Extension Mascara. I'm not wearing this today because I'm kind of saving it for special occasions because it is really good. Now, one side you have the fibres, which are these. Hopefully it will focus. Focus. Yeah, it has like a pot of fibres and it's like a white brush and you apply that to your eyelashes. I will show it in like a tutorial at some point. And then the other side is mascara. So you put the mascara on top and basically it gives like thicker, longer lashes because of the fibres that you put on. And I thought, you know, maybe that's not the case, but it is the case. My lashes look so much better when I have this mascara on, but it is quite expensive because obviously it is really good. Um, so just do bear that in mind. And then two lipsticks. This one here is the Matte Lip Butter in the shade, I think, Coyote number 36. Yeah, number 36. I'll swatch it on my hand for you to see what the shade looks like. Like that. It's like a nice kind of nude, like, brownie matte, which is the kind of lipsticks that I like to go for. So that's what it looks like. I do have it on my lips today. So you can't always go by what the swatch looks like on your hand because this is what it looks like on my face. So yeah, I do have that one on, that's really nice. And then the lipstick is this one, which is a matte lipstick. It's in the shade Sienna Rose number 430. I think my voice is going. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I just picked this up as well because I just wanted to try it and I do really like this one too. So I'll swatch that next to it so you can see the kind of difference in, in shade. So I'm not doing that very well. 
but yeah it looks kind of pinky on there but it is like a nudie brown but it's just got a little hint of pink to it um and it's quite nice and subtle so i do also really really like this one and i wear that quite a lot and then the final product is the makeup setting spray this has got aloe vera in it which is also really good for the skin and why is it not focusing yeah there we go and i use this after i've done my makeup you spray your makeup so it sets everything in place and it's all looking kind of really nice so yeah i really like that product and i would recommend giving that a try and i am actually gonna rebuy that once i finish doing once i finish using it up so yeah that's everything from the body shop like i said at the start if you're the kind of person that buys stuff from the body shop then let me know follow me on my facebook page which is down in the description like i said and just message me or whatever because I, I do get a lot of people just messaging me even if it's just for advice on skincare because i do know quite a lot about skincare even before i did the body shop because i have had quite a journey with my own skin so i do know what products are good and what aren't um, and i am going to be honest i'm not just going to promote 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 um so yeah just let me know but yeah uh i think that's everything so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye